about five years ago, one of my friends who does high tech stuff down in Texas gave this to me. It's a kind of business card, but a very advanced one indeed. Let's get it in focus. There we are. So the company was. Oh. There we are. Lots of stuff on the back as well, which I don't need to show you. Now, the inside of it is just a little bit of plastic. That's all. Oops, there you go. Can't get it out. There we are. A piece of very thin plastic. Let's see if I can get this into focus. Lots of little squares and a couple of uh, short rectangles and a long rectangle. That's the best piece of the lot. That is amazing. So I'll show that last. So I've got a laser, which is essential for it. I've got a, a fairly powerful laser. This one is a green one, so we've got to be a bit careful with it. But it's, it makes things appear here like this. So if I pass it through the top square here, for instance, let me see if I can get this into focus. Which is it? Bring it down a bit. There we are. And then the next picture is that one there. I don't know what that is quite. No, it's quite nice. That's getting interesting now. That's a bit of advertising. That's very nice. There's a keyboard just about. Can you get that in focus or not? Down at the bottom, we've got that, which I'm not sure what that's that for, or that, or that. Don't know what that's for. Don't know what that. Now, here's where we get interesting these long ones, because they contain animation. So, this long one here, if I pass the lasers through it, and move it up and down, you get, the thing starts to animate. You get triangles which weren't there before suddenly appearing. Extraordinary. Let's put it a bit further back like that. That's better. And down a bit. Up there. Oops, there we are. The second one is this one here, which is, again, a very nice effect because it's got little sort of petals which open uh, open up and close it. No, it's closed a little bit. It's not, it's not a huge, it's not a very strong item, but it's, it's, quite, it's quite nice. So this is the amazing one. I'll do it with the other hand so you can see it. It's, um... It's a global map, which is at the top there. It shows a global map there. And as I move this, let me see if I can show both together, actually. What I really like to do is show both together. As I move this up and down, you get the globe of the world turning like that, which is astonishing. I've never seen animation like that. How on earth do they manage to compress that to get so many shots of the globe of the world? Isn't that amazing? And I can I can magnify that because it's a laser thing, certainly in the dark, about 50 yards away, extraordinary, without it increasing in size. It's it's absolutely astonishing piece of technology. So that's, I think, is probably my all-time favorite use of laser demonstration stuff. I think it's just an extraordinary little thing. And look at it, just a bit of plastic. Amazing. I'd have to get a thousand of them, wouldn't you? 